Hi everybody, welcome back to part two of my servicing videos. If you haven't seen part one, click up here in the top corner and you can go in and see part one of my caravan being serviced. Uh, it's a good insight to see all the jobs and all the tasks which are performed around the caravan. Now a few days ago, I managed to sit with John who heads up the after sales team at Swindon Caravan Group. And I asked him a set of questions which I've been asked over the past few months from you guys here on YouTube and on Facebook and Twitter. And I put them to him and I asked him some very simple questions about how uh, servicing is done, what things are covered, what things are not covered. And uh, well, I started off by asking him why I should have my caravan serviced. Um, I suppose the main one, safety checks, peace of mind, and probably the most important one we get caught on, warranty cover. If you have a new van or a used van, it has warranty on and you have to have it serviced. So how often do you think I should have my caravan serviced? annually and in after sales if you talk to us always before the anniversary date it avoids any problems not okay. on the run over of four six or ten weeks which you do get on some policies so one of the big questions i get asked a lot is do i need to empty my caravan if we can walk inside the caravan so the walkways are free um that needs to be emptied i always say to people take your personal possessions out sure. anything that's near and dear to you gas bottles can stay in if it's for service, if there's a repair, yes, it does need emptying a little further. We generally put that in a letter to you. So I should really remove any big items like my awning, my awning poles, aqua roll, waste master, that oh, sort of thing? Yes, please. Just bits like that. Okay, yeah, cool. be great. Fine. So you're a dealer for Luna, Swift and Bailey here. Do you service any other manufacturers? We sell used caravans across the spectrum of different makes. And if we sell a caravan, yes, we will service it. So I've got a motor mover on my caravan. Is that covered under a normal service? Generally not. You do have a warranty on your motor mover. If we fitted it, uh, you get a document which says it's guaranteed for five years. And the beauty of having the power touch, which is the one we use, you can get it serviced throughout the country. If you've got any problems, they have mobile engineers. So how long does a service actually take to complete? Normally a few hours, but how we work here at the moment is we get your caravans in one Saturday. Mm -hmm. So we load the yard up with the caravans for the following week. And it's serviced Monday to Friday, sometime during that week. And we give you a call as soon as it's finished. So I just get a call to come back and pick it up when it's all complete. That's right. So during the service, all my gas appliances will be serviced as well. We do a, a gas safety check on all the gas appliances in the caravan and we do give you a printout with your service form at okay. the end of it when you collect so they are checked so it's a bit of a daft question this one but how important is it to have all the gas appliances serviced in the caravan um, well it's a safety check it's the safety check that has to be done that's what covers you so I've just bought a brand new caravan can I have a mobile servicing engineer come out do all the work on my caravan and then have the warranty work done as well? Yes, they do need to be NCC approved. Customers buy from us all over the country. Right. So some people do use a mobile engineer. One thing I would like to point out, most do not do warranty work. So they come to your house, service your caravan, just do the service and then tell you you've got ingress issues, other warranty issues, and they'll say you need to contact your dealer. Right, can be very frustrating for you. So following on from that question then, the workshop will do all the warranty work as well? Yes, if it's something small, we can generally do it in that visit. However, if we find larger warranty issues or warranty issues that we need parts for, it will require a future booking. Hypothetically speaking then, if I was to buy a caravan from another dealer, could I bring it here to be serviced? Not at the moment. Um, we have sold a lot of vans and we are trying to look after our customers, people who buy vans from us. Um, so we're not what's called a transient dealer at this present moment in time. As you can see from walking around, we've built a new four bay workshop. Yeah. We would like to get back to being a transient dealer, but that is for the future. Okay. So at the moment, no. So in general, John, what does a service actually cover? Right, there is a list in after sales actually on the counter showing you the standard service and the premier service. There's copies available in after sales and we'll always email it to people if you want to sit and read it. It does take a while to go through. So you've just mentioned there's two types of service. What is the main difference between the two levels? Generally, the, the standard service does all the safety issues, does all the chassis checks 
Um, if you're using your caravan a lot, you will know if anything's going wrong inside the caravan. If you don't use it a lot, you're new to caravanning or you want your van checked at the start of the year, um, people then tend to take a premium service. So we go into the van and look at it more. So theoretically speaking then, what if I'm not happy with the work that you guys have done on my caravan? In the first instance, ring in, take option two, ask for after sales, and generally one of the after sales people will know who to put you in touch with, whether it's workshop, sales, or even myself. Great. It's not a problem. And there we go, guys. That's all the questions that I had to ask John. Uh, various questions that I've been asked over the past few months uh, on here on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook, etc., about caravan servicing. It was a real pleasure to sit with John. Uh, he's a very knowledgeable guy, knows the industry very, very well, and um, has pretty much seen everything that you can imagine. Now, I didn't really understand and I didn't really grasp how much work actually goes into a caravan service. I think I was shocked as much as uh, some of the guys that left the comments on the previous video of how much work and how much detail the guys actually go into. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but that was a basic service. And yes, I actually had to cut some of the footage out as well because it just carried on too long. So even though what I've shown you is a general idea of a service, there is actually more that they did as well. So I hope that's a real insight for you. If you do have any questions, if you do have any comments, feel free to put them down below. But I just want to wish uh, a big thank you to Swindon Caravan Group for allowing me to film the uh, service taking place and have access to the workshops and uh, the chaps there as well. So a big thank you to you guys. So that's it from me for this week. Any questions, feel free to ask and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.